Hello everyone, I'm going to be giving another quick one minute or two minute tutorial here on how to use Sound Taxi to convert audio files. And it's very simple to use and it's a really good program. So first off you want to just go to Google, okay, and then you're just going to type up here www.soundtaxi.info and this is going to be the website. Save it in your favorites. It's easy to easy to do and then what you want to do is just click on the free trial here all right there's a there are several different versions of sound taxi I was looking around but this is the, this is the web page you want to you want to be at so once you click free trial you're going to click down here on run I don't want to do that because I've already done it so what we're going to do is exit out of that and once it's all finished you're going to have an icon like over here and you just open it up and this is the window you're going to see okay now first thing I want to show you is in the settings. There are a couple different options here and the first one is going to be your output folder. When you drag a, some music files over into Sound Taxi, once they're converted to whatever you want to have them converted to, where is the file going to be deposited at? And right now I just have it going to the desktop and, and we'll, we'll convert a file we'll show you how it works. It's, it's pretty fast. Automation here is which I leave it check marked because I already have my settings done is as soon as you drag a file into the program it's going to automatically start converting it for you if you just uncheck it okay and then hit OK you can drag different if you click here on the, on the plus sign it's going to give me a chance to find music but as soon as I drag the musics over it will not start converting them until I tell this program to start converting them uh, typically I just leave it check mark because once I bring the songs over they'll start converting them one at a time here's your encoding All right. however you wanna it says here encoding for the audio files you can convert them to WAV, MP3, MP4 whatever you want alright and your compression rate generally speaking of course very high is, it's very it's, that's good I just leave it perfect to try and get it as good as I can and then if you have any like audio uh, video files but right now we're just gonna be doing audio compatibility there's a slider bar up here and I generally leave it far to the left because it says here best performance recommended you can put it however you desire okay but I just try to kind of leave it where it's at and then that's about it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just drag over a song and I'm gonna pull this um, Paul Van Dyke mix and it's gonna automatically start converting it as you can see here <clears throat> I do have that check mark checked and it already automatically put up a uh, a folder up here now it's gonna take I don't know maybe a couple of minutes so I'm gonna pause the video for a moment just so everybody doesn't have to sit and wait for this and it's probably gonna take about a minute but who wants to wait for a full minute alright so it's been about a minute about a minute and 15 seconds let's say and it, we're almost done here now once it's finished that's what I you know a lot of the programs are very easy but it says it'll give you a green check mark alright so I know it's done it says converted now if I go up to my file here <coughs> like I said you can create uh, whatever file you want and I just go down to properties and now it's an MPEG-4 or before or some I think it was a WAV file but like I said you can create it anything you can make it anything you like and now we're good so it's a very good program and once you're done with however many songs you pull over simply just uh, left click on it hit remove and you're back to the beginning uh, any questions just uh, leave a message post any questions I'll try to answer them for you otherwise enjoy sound taxi